The 7A West champion could be decided when Springdale Harbor hosts Fayetteville. I'm Andrew Hutchinson with AR Preps and the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette, and I'm here to preview tonight's big game at Wildcat Stadium. I'll start with the visitors, the Fayetteville Bulldogs, who come in tonight's game ranked number one overall in the state in several polls. The Purple Dogs are 6-0 and have one of the most explosive offenses in the state. How good has Fayetteville's offense been? They could be shut out by Harbor and still be averaging 50 points per game. Junior quarterback Taylor Powell is the man behind those numbers as he's completed 76% of his passes for 24 touchdowns and only two interceptions. The Bulldogs' defense has also been stout, giving up 17 points a game, which is second in the conference. Coming off a 3-8 season in 2014, the Harbor Wildcats have jumped into conference title contention with a 31-21 win over Bentonville last week. The Wildcats are 5-1 with their only blemish being a Week 1 loss to Missouri powerhouse Webb City. Harbor's offense hasn't been quite as explosive as Fayetteville's, but it has put up nearly 38 points per game. Senior transfer Fuller Chandler is arguably the second best quarterback in the conference, and senior Luke Cannon continues to put up big numbers at running back. The Wildcats are typically balanced, averaging nearly 200 yards rushing and passing per game, but beat Bentonville on the ground last week, as Hannon rushed for 192 yards and two touchdowns. This will be the first time Fayetteville has played Harbor at Wildcat Stadium, but the Bulldogs are 0-4 against the Wildcats in the city of Springdale, with those four games being played at Springdale's Gerald Williams Bulldog Stadium. Harbor holds the all-time series lead six games to four. Thanks for listening, and we hope you visit AR Preps throughout the weekend for more high school sports coverage. As always, if you attend any game in Arkansas, tweet score updates using the AR Preps hashtag. If you'd like to keep up with other scores from across the state, you can go to nwadg.com scoreboard or go to the AR Preps Twitter page.